Hey Virgos, welcome and welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys so much for being here and showing all your love and support. I really do appreciate it. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And make sure that your post notification bells are turned on so you know every single time that I post. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for y'all's support. Please be sure that your bell notification is on, okay? If that is not on, you won't know the updates on the readings that I upload. I also would like to thank you guys so much for supporting me and sending me super thanks, okay, as well. Let's go ahead and see what's going on for Virgo. What do we need to know? What's the messages here? I'm hearing something about a group of Jamaicans. I don't know if somebody is like uh, profiling a person or maybe someone is giving a general description but that's what I'm picking up here we have water so there's a lot of emotions or somebody here uh, could live by bodies of water or need to consume more water here okay water sign cancer Scorpio Pisces could be significant or somebody's holding in a lot of emotions that they need to surrender to okay we have the number 39 that could be significant i feel like something isn't fated for you to have a lack of stability that is not your fate that is not your story and i feel like you need to you need to learn that you need to take action to achieve somebody needs to do more or better for themselves if they know that that's not the type of life that you should have okay let's see here Tell me more. What's the message for Virgo? What do we need to know? Okay, so we have dogs. It says getting together with friends. So I don't know if you have plans or this is going to happen out of the blue, but you're going to be, you know, making a decision around dealing with someone. Okay, this could be somebody that's a... Um, Sagittarius, Capricorn. Yeah, you're going to have fun with somebody in the month of December in a couple months, or this has something to do with a Capricorn, okay? Yeah, you're protected from negative forces beyond your control. Somebody's ego that's real big, okay? Chilling with somebody could bring out the worst, I feel like somebody is super petty, but you're protected though. Be careful of this individual. I do see here also that there's some type of victory that is coming in or that you're going to catch wind of. Okay, with this dolphin, I do see that there is financial gain usually coming from something that you did in the past. Something important such as a new job or a race could also be something that's coming up for you as well, Virgo. Okay, let's see. Tell me more. Current messages for Virgo at this time. Okay, so we have Don Juan. Somebody looks like they're trying to sweep you off of your feet. They they spot your per why can't I talk? They are highlighting or spot your positive seductive qualities. We have Messiah. Somebody feels like there's something uplifting about you in the way that like you you portray your personality to others. I feel like you serve humanity by making people happy. Okay, somebody's wondering like where have you been all my life? I'm hearing somebody has a particular type. Okay. Let's see. Tell me more. Sharing too much of your life could lead a person to kind of even stuff out with a little bit of dark darkness so be aware of this yeah light was the only card that popped up 
we have movement choices and decisions i feel like now is not the time to make decisions or maybe you're unaware of a choice that you need to conclude how things go forward i feel like you hold the power to your heart and you should not choose somebody just because they're available to you because somebody isn't someone that you need to partner up with you need to stand your ground somebody may not even like that you're saying no to them but you need to follow the path of what's destined for you you know what's destined for you and spirit is telling you to rest and reconsider rest and rejuvenate the number is 19 2 10 3 7 8 and 4 could be significant i'm seeing four twice so you're divinely protected Okay. Something is almost complete here. We're going to go into the reading real quick to see what's going on for Virgo. Okay, so we have the Nine of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Something fulfilling is going to take place or it's like you know of what you want and you're going to receive it. I do see the Seven of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands. Something is definitely fulfilling. I feel like it's coming in even quicker than you thought. Okay. Uh, you don't have to wait long. Or somebody could have been angry that something was held back something was backed up i feel like it, it's being delivered to your home this could be parcels this could be um a prescription medication that's being delivered to your home or, or monies inheritance a letter whatever this is we have the ace of swords in reverse so i feel like uh, maybe something was a lost in transition or there was a miscommunication or somebody could have been lacking communication to tell you something. They could be coming to you. I feel like you got a stalker or somebody that's paying very close attention to your home or, or whatever this is. Somebody feels conflicted, very disbarred. Somebody wants to get over this to tell you something. Somebody may be even bringing something to you, okay? to make peace or to conclude um, starting over or whatever this is. This could be a masculine or feminine, a group of people or one person. Somebody could even be like uh, just monitoring activities around your home. See who's coming to your home or whatever this is. Somebody can't sleep. There's a lot on someone's mind or somebody didn't sleep very well last night or for the past few nights or as of lately. I feel like this is why somebody's so cranky. Okay, somebody feels like they need to uh, stand 10 toes down on something and not allow a person to have the upper hand. Okay, somebody could be moving forward with a decision a choice or something like that. Nine of Cups. What's this Nine of Cups here in the upright for Virgo? Okay, we do see the Four of Cups. I feel like you're angry that you missed out on something that you were definitely waiting on to come into fruition. You could be reevaluating your job, your feelings, or the things that you want to partake in. I do see here that there's going to be some sort of like a power boost, confidence, strength, bravery, focus on something that could make you very happy, could change your, your whole life because it, it brings in equality. It brings in financial support and stability. There's some type of uh, turn of events or luck that's showing up for you here. Somebody, whoever this masculine is, he doesn't have control over you or he can't get you to uh, talk about certain things that is no longer his business, okay? This could be a boss, this could be someone that uh, uses their, their job 
tight on their power to get what they want. Somebody here could be a Cancerian. I've been getting a lot of water sign lately, fire sign, especially Leo Sagittarius. Not so much Aries, but I'm seeing Aries now. Somebody's definitely trying to undertake you with using their position title, their money, their resources, or something like that. Or maybe you're doing this to someone. Tell me more about this Four of Cups to the Nine of Cups. or feeling remorseful. I'm not really sure who this energy is from. But I'm getting uh, Ace of Wands to the Chariot here. So somebody's definitely finding some type of passion or something is, is bringing you some type of breakthrough, progress, fearlessness, encouragement. I feel like one day you're encouraged, the next minute it's like something digresses or there's no control. Somebody can't control something that's coming in for you. There's a, eventually some type of breakthrough. But somebody here wants to uh, stink up whatever this passionate energy is. Whoever this is, it could be a Cancerian Virgo energy. Okay? Somebody's trying to match your energy, but they know they can't, so they try to put a damper in the plans that God has for you. Yeah, I'm telling you, this could be somebody that's an admirer or used to be. Somebody's trying to delay a person from coming towards you with some type of partnership romance, entanglement, shared understanding, a contract, or something like that. This is somebody definitely that is sexually uh, connected to you or attracted to you. Somebody's hoping that you will come around and see that they're trying to redeem themselves. Okay, so what I'm picking up, this seems like a, a, a past person or somebody that you already know that you might have fooled around with or been in a connection with. Somebody here is wanting to sleep with you or is thinking about the times that they slept with you and wanting to come back around, but they're coming back as an admirer but a snake. Spirit is telling you with this four of wands, do not let this person back, okay? The number four is showing up twice. You are divinely connected to the universe. Nothing and nobody can touch you, okay? Nothing and nobody can touch you. Tell me more. Four of Cups to the Nine of Cups. Yeah, I'm seeing the number four. Four of Pentacles, Capricorn energy. Somebody wants you to give up control so that they can ruin or cancel a lot of things that may be on your agenda to get done. Somebody here could come off very insecure or wants you to be insecure about your foundation. Somebody here sees you as a person that's not patient or they want to try to slow something down for you. I've already done this reading earlier. It's already uploaded. Somebody thinks that slowing something down for you is going to come in quicker for them, but it's going to be quicker for them to lose something, okay, because they're messing with the algorithm of, of what's going on with you. Let's see here. Tell me more what's going on. Message for Virgo. Okay, so we have addictions is causing strife and alienation in a relationship. 
but you're winning. Things are looking up. It's time to celebrate. But somebody is controlling and won't release control and set somebody free. I feel like this is this person. Somebody won't let you live to win. Somebody won't let you live to win because they're addicted to causing you to have some type of power struggle. Okay? Tell me more about these addictions here. Yeah, you're releasing them, but they won't release the power that they want to have over you. Or they want you to think that they have over you. Queen of Wands, somebody here could be showing up as a feminine but is a masculine or somebody is an actual feminine here that's pulling on your energy. Somebody could be masquerading as a feminine, okay, or there, somebody has a problem with you. Or somebody, somebody likes free-spirited individuals that give up a little bit of control to their, to their person so that they can take what they want from you. They can make you unstable emotionally and they have control over what you have and what they can take away from you. Okay, somebody wants you to be oblivious to life. I'm telling you. Somebody wants you to be oblivious to life. Message for Virgo. Okay, so look. Things are looking up for you. You could be coming into the energy of inspiration, optimism, and success. Yeah. You are attracting some type of divine energy. I feel like you're hopeful for a connection with a divine masculine, okay? Somebody here is suffering in silence because they know they burned a bridge with you or you with them. They broke your trust. They turned their back on you. And now it's like there's a lot on somebody's mind that they want to say. This could work both ways or one over the other. I feel like somebody even um, feels like they'll run into you at some point or that you'll come back knocking on their door. Somebody is very narcissistic, okay? Or somebody uses um, staying away from people to be narcissistic or whatever the case may be. I feel like legally, somebody could be breaking the rules to get a win. Or trying to cause some type of injustice for you legally. Yeah, because they know that you're, you have some type of glow up that they want to trap you for. That's crazy. What's the message? For Virgo. Okay, so we do have here abracadabra connect, okay, to manifest, and we have alchemy. These are the same cards, but um, talking about two different things in the same card. Look, you're a manifestier. All three cards point to you being connected to the divine. Your heart chakra is open. You're manifesting currently or speaking something into the universe to bring positive energies your way. You're weighing the alternatives or choices to make things possible for you by being the manifest here, by creating the things that you want in this life here, okay? Let's see what else is going on in love. What is it that we need to know? Okay, so there's a healing connection that will allow your life to transform. And somebody wants to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you. So be ready to discuss your feelings with this person. But don't forget to love yourself first. Put yourself first before anything else. Your self-respect makes more romantically attractive somebody didn't expect 
to fall for you. And I feel like a lot of us need to stop holding on to a lot of grudges or envy or any type of other uh, other things that don't help your situation. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments here. Okay. I heard the word contentment. Somebody here hasn't slept with a person in a long, long, long time. I know I can relate to that. Wrong timing and false twin flame. It looks like it wasn't the right time for you to cross paths with somebody that may seem like a false twin at this time, but you both learned lessons from each other either way you guys took away something from this connection now it's time for you to celebrate pop the bottle come together with your soul tribe people that you love and care about yeah and get ready and excited for this new love that's coming in trust the signs Somebody's guilty for trying to sabotage you or this connection here or vice versa. I feel like somebody's releasing destructive patterns or anything that doesn't result to positive um, vibrations because it, it wasn't something that you guys could build on or agree to or whatever this is. Somebody doesn't want to feel heartbreak. They don't want to feel broken. They don't want to be dis disturbed. And when I say that, I mean somebody doesn't want to be disturbed when it comes to romance. They want to be able to fix what was broken or whatever this is. here is a thief somebody did not consult to a person taking from them without their knowledge okay we have letter in reverse so it looks like somebody here didn't receive a letter or there's a letter that may be upsetting okay it looks like a woman or female in power or has um, some type of wealth may not have thought something through yeah Pleasant letter is in reverse. Somebody is writing a person a really, really nasty letter. Okay. Hoping that somebody is definitely holding on to hope for a person's emotions to change. And I feel like if it doesn't, somebody does, it will not expect changes in their, um, their finances or something like that. Somebody won't help a person out. Somebody's already going through it. So it's like, there's nothing that you could possibly take away from me that is different from what's going on now. Somebody could be cutting a person off financially and somebody didn't expect that they, this illness that they could be suffering from would continue to, to go on longer than it needs to. Okay, somebody wants to rebuild, renew their, um, their placement and being a person of wealth, whoever this masculine is, 
but I see that somebody's trying to handle things outside of court. Somebody here may live overseas or have to travel, or somebody does a lot of traveling for work or whatever this is. Somebody's trying to make time for them to go to court or, or figure out their legal proceedings here, okay? Giving money, giving money, always partying, and we have self-love in reverse. Somebody is definitely numb, okay? I feel like somebody carries this persona of, I party all the time, I'm the life of the party, you know, um, I'm happy, there's nothing I can complain about. But really, in all actuality, somebody's not projecting self-love onto themselves or others. But somebody feels like if they distract themselves enough around happy times or um, uplifting energies, that they don't, they'll forget about everything that's going on in real life. I feel like somebody here is making some type of money in this type of partying atmosphere or somebody gets money and wastes it on this this um entertainment lifestyle okay we have getting readings in reverse so somebody here may be a um divinator divination abuser okay or somebody is not allowed to uh receive information from a tarot reader or somebody is refusing service to give you a reading or something like that okay Somebody cannot talk their way into finding out information about you because this person that does readings knows exactly what, what the intentions are behind getting readings on you or you on them. I feel like somebody is definitely going to brush this person off, like get out of here. Where do you, what do you think you're, you're trying to accomplish by paying me to do a reading on someone that you're not supposed to have any information for? relationship going strong you have so much to be thankful for follow up on a follow up with a caseworker medical emergency yeah so yeah somebody needs to mind their business before they get punched in the nose we have money investment business property stocks etc we have quick progression so somebody's gonna find out about a pregnancy or somebody becoming pregnant and it's going to bring about some type of deliberation. Somebody's name could start with the letter T or have the letter T in it. Okay? You may be getting a no contact order. Or somebody isn't allowed or won't have the authority to contact you because they won't know anything about you. Your number, your name, your address, or something will change. Karma's catching up to somebody that may be keeping a child from a mother or father. Okay? We do have anxiety. Okay, somebody here could be taking medication that could bring on more anxiety or maybe somebody needs medication to deal with anxiety. We have hotel staff, okay, has to abide by some type of terms by default, okay, because somebody has a little bit of an anger issue, okay, loses grip very easily if they don't get what they want. This could also happen out of nowhere, okay, we have biopsy. Okay, somebody here may need to get some type of um, procedure done to extract something to figure out what's going on with them. I don't think I pulled this card for her though. Okay, so we have homeless and Look, okay, somebody homeless will be blessed with some type of fortune, reward, or something like that. I feel you may not even remember if you submitted something or uh, may have paid for a, a lottery ticket, but there's definitely good news of a person that if you didn't have something to call your own or a place to, to sleep, 
or stay that you could say is yours. There is some type of news of a, a person that was once homeless or didn't have something for themselves will be housed or will have the money or funds to take care of themselves, okay? Anyway, Virgo, that's what I have here for your current messages. Hopefully it resonates. If it does, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, stay blessed. And I'll see you guys in the next one.